Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. It is. Where is that? Where is that transition at? It is the Mayhem Monday Mayhem thingamajiggy. I'm Mike Sorg at Sorgatron on the Twitter. With me, of course, is the man with the future Endeavor letter from the WWE. He is mad. Mike? Oh, man. Uh, Sorg, are you ready to put some boots to ground? Let's let's stomp some ground. Let's ground stomp. Let's... um. Is this a let's, Mario let's, let's move? Let's crush what some grapes doing? and make some fucking wine, Sorg. <laughs> it's wine making. WWE's wine making this Sunday on pay per view. <laughs> from... Get it because it makes us wine. Ah, uh, yeah. I get it now. Okay, it is. Uh, it is Monday night, and uh, and uh, Mad Mike, have you watched? Have you done any other wrestling stuff? Have you seen anything in the archives or in the WWE Network or anything that you've enjoyed this week? Um, um, I I watched a little bit of Double or Nothing. Whoa! And, and how is you? So you've officially watched more than me. Uh, I I watched the first two matches of the official pay per view. Okay. Uh, I I have thoughts. You have thoughts? Okay. What I were the first two matches? Uh, the SCU versus uh the SEMA, and I forget the other two guys' names because there were no visual bugs at the bottom Mm -hmm. so that was not great for me but Mm -hmm. uh the match was fun and then i saw the uh the the ladies contest nice oh with a friend of the show Britt baker on there with uh with dr Britt baker with nyla rose with um uh smiley kylie ray and a uh welfare queen (gasps) i was uh uh awesome Awesome kong Kong. i I forgot her wrestling name (laughs) Um, that is her wrestling name. Sorry. Yes. Well, welfare queen. <laughs> welfare queen. Yes. Technically, yeah. Uh, so, so what do you think so far? Are you, are you enjoying it? I mean, as a, I mean, again, this is just the start off of this. Yeah, I'm. I, I have thoughts as one does. Mm-hmm. I'm going. I, I want to watch the whole thing before I do a full report. Okay. Uh, it's gonna be slow going with me watching it, but I will be finishing it probably by next week okay i expect i'm hoping i get a a little more of a report uh from you by then then yeah so i i have thoughts i want to make sure my thoughts don't change by the end of the show um so i i I didn't actually get to experience much local wrestling uh, in person at least unfortunately i got ill late last week uh which means i I didn't go to wrestle rex but they were doing it on facebook live and uh and i got to check out most of the show online while i was like it on my deathbed on thursday night um i also did not go to a show i meant to go to like back home that was a wedding a wedding rumble or something um so don't was- worry Sorg. i'm i'm currently looking to book a wedding rumble yes um currently looking i'm not sure how this is going to work we'll, we'll talk but, about this well we can work this out i'll be going over Hey, I'm just so saying, if we your wedding jokes. happens in Pittsburgh, we can completely give you a wedding uh, reception wrestling ring kind of situation. We we got jokes. Yes. Uh, anyways, uh, Tina says great things she saw in wrestling this weekend. The rhythm is going to get you. Who, mm-hmm. who's, whose rhythm was going to get them? It's the rhythm of the night. It's the rhythm of the night? Yep. What I, I, I actually do know what she's talking about. Okay. Uh, one, one, uh, one Mr. Sunny Kiss. And Ref Aubrey did the dance to Gloria Estefan. Oh, jeez. I need to find this. Mm-hmm. I need yeah. to see this. Yeah. Somebody... I haven't even seen it. I just saw a screen cap from it. Wait. And I'm like, yep, I can fill in the rest of this in my head. This is, this is automatically great. <laughs> um, it, well, it was, so, so I did get to see WrestleRex, and it was really great. It, 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 an awesome event that they're doing down there in the south side. Uh, but I also got to uh, just generally catch up. On wrestling, um, uh, WWE Network. You know, I, I was I have the right body of work that I'm doing that I can throw wrestling on in the background. Um, so I'm what, catching. What you throw on? I throw on some Ring of Honor, a little bit of New Japan, uh, the okay. Access stuff, um, which was um, Sonata versus Okada. 
from okay. Doko 2, I think the show was. Okay. Um, it was one of like three episodes that were up on Access TV right now. And uh, that was amazing. Uh, the recent Ring of Honor television, um, which started with a Colt Cabana James Storm match for, I believe it was the NWA North American title uh, that went to <laughs> a 15 minute draw. Hey, it. I, I you're laughing at this, but it was a lot better than it sounds. You know, it was just kind of like, oh, hey, okay, that's 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 a cool thing. Um, I finally got to see Shane Taylor on TV because uh, <laughs> I always see him the missile many time I tune him in the ring of our television. So for, checking out the friend of the show there. Um, uh, caught up, I think I am. Yes, I'm caught up on NXT TV. I that's am. Uh, I don't know if I'm hitting every week, but I'm mostly hitting up 205 Live, and I'm 205 so, has been jeez. 205 is great. 205 Live is tremendous. What's going on there? And I'm up to, I think, episode 18-ish of uh, NXT UK. I, I got through about two-ish episodes. You're further along than I am. With good, UK, good. It's nice because it's like segmented and it's over here and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter for anything else. It's just weird that I get like whatever pay-per-view was in November commercials, but, uh, I, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but all these guys are mostly new to me. I, I saw Isla Dawn versus Rhea Ripley, uh, in, mm-hmm. in her first title defense. And uh, that's the first, and I think I'm saying her name wrong. Cause they, they pronounce it differently over there. Uh, this is going to be a Finn Balor situation. I know. Uh, no, I, I say Isla Dawn too, but I think it's Isla Dawn. Isla, 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 like I think, I think I scream here in Pittsburgh. I think Isla is an acceptable pronunciation. Isla, okay, uh, I'll figure because it the out. The actress is Isla Fisher. So. The more I watch this, I'm sure I'll pick up on it. So, um, uh, <laughs> Aerostar did a move from the top of the lights. Oh yeah, Aerostar, I like you. Don't kill yourself. He's from the future. He knows what's going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah, but that doesn't mean he's going to live. <laughs> uh, let's see. There sure, was Tony Stark knew what was going to happen when he snapped his fingers. Spoilers, if you haven't seen Endgame, fuck you. You should have seen it. Wow. Wow. Uh, That's well, what I just said. At least we got our Dark Phoenix talk out before this uh, episode mm-hmm. started. Mm. You lay a hand there and I'll fucking kill you. Um, Is it your favorite of the first class X-Men movies? No, that would be first class. <laughs> first oh. class is great. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're, I, I think they're, I like the whole series. I think collectively that whole series is better than the original trilogy. Tina, please tell me you have you've seen Endgame. At least maybe a Spider-Man trailer that spoils it. But anyways, yeah, oh. there's at least a, there's like several Spider-Man trailers. One that has aired during Raw. So I know that you watched tonight's Monday Night Raw in an altered I, state. Um, I, I I just I came in a little late. So altered I state meaning on fast night. forward. So yes. yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have a general recap. I, I, well, ju- just some matches. I, I fast forwarded through the matches because I'll watch them. I'm going to be surprising to you. I, and I was doing a lot of work while watching Raw. That's not surprising. Um, I was kind of really. Oh, ha- Tina, I'm so sorry then. No, oh, no. I'm so sorry. But Tina, it's been a month. Yeah, we, we can't. I'm, we can't so- I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I, like the whole. The whole Tina, it's OK. I love you 3000. You'll get that when you see the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but, uh, I liked Raw tonight. Okay. Raw gave me a lot. Raw, um. Raw gave me some, some good threads. Um, Crazy Seth with a chair. Um. I didn't like that. You didn't like Crazy Seth with a chair? No. No? No. I missed the Elias moment with it. Uh, you didn't miss much. I missed the first Elias came out and sang in a referee shirt, and Seth came up from behind and attacked him with a chair. But, I... Okay, I enjoyed those things. Call me simple. No, but, but but then everyone else came out and beat up Elias. Like, see, the, the things I don't like, two of my favorite people were literally used as props. Yes. Two of my favorite people in WWE were literally used as props. You're talking about EC3 and Elias. Yes. Like, I... I I'm tired of the shield again. Mm-hmm. And there aren't even all the shield members. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, I, I want something new. I want something new from WWE. 
Baron Corbin is not new. Seth Rollins is not new. R the only thing that intrigued me, Ricochet versus Samoa Joe, mm -hmm. that intrigues the fuck out of me. Yes. Uh, you know why? Because it's new. Have not seen that yet, but we'll see it about 10 times in the next two months. So um, yeah. we did get Daniel Bryan and Seth tonight, though. Kind of. Kind of. We, we, we got a little bit of it. Yeah, we got. But, we, but we, again, we got it, a raw a match. A raw, a raw bit of, of it. But Sorg, it's a it's a match that meant nothing. It meant nothing except that well, there was there was connotations of well, hey, you know, Brock could come out any time. So there's always that. No, no, uh, no. I'm I'm not even addressing that talking point because it's not coming out. Okay, all right. I don't like. I don't like. That's a nitro thing. That's a nitro thing. Uh, that, is, that is bait and switch every week. Yeah. Fuck that noise. Yeah, yeah. You Fuck never know. No, no, no. Bait and switches are not a good way to hook people in. They're not a good way. They're a way to turn people off. Like, when Drew McIntyre started talking, the only thing I liked was Roman Reigns just turned away from Titan Tron and walked away. I'm like, that's what I do all the time. Mm-hmm. Well, we did get the uh, Bullet Club uh, quasi reunion or AJ straighten your shit up uh, mode. Yeah. Uh, AJ, yeah. And AJ, then they lost. And then they lost. Well, I think it's a, if there's going to be a story, you, you, you no, there's not. Start with that. No, if anything, they're going to turn heel on AJ. Really? Yes. Really? Yes. You don't think AJ is just going to uh, whip them in the shape and then uh, no. they'll be a badass no. faction again? No, because you're doing writing. I. I'm doing I'm doing positivity, Mike. That's on SmackDown. That's on SmackDown. Hey, yeah. Listen, um, <laughs> no, I mean Raw was fine. It was better than it has been the past couple of weeks. We got wrestling, mm -hmm. which is good. Wrestling is good. We got title defense. We got the Iconics winning a fucking match for once. Mm -hmm. Like I'm on board with that. I don't like how it was done necessarily, but we're on board with it. I, I I'm good with all this. Um, unfortunately, I am also over the idea of uh, you know our wild card situation and seeing everybody all over the place. Kofi is over the wild card situation. He said he's not even a wild card. He can just go wherever he wants because he's the champion. Yeah, yeah. Like, why do we even need to introduce the wild card? Just say anyone can go where they want. Anyone can challenge for whatever title they want, but the titles stay on the specific shows. Mm hmm. There's nothing wrong with saying that. No, no, absolutely. So, uh, I and mean, I don't know what. I mean, I know they're trying to keep things interesting, but also you're just you're just suppressing the mass amount of your talent, right? Yeah, like because because a lot of people that are on Raw tonight do not have matches at the pay per view. No, 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 no. A lot of people, like who, like you said, Daniel Bryan was in the main event tonight. Mm-hmm. Who are they facing at the pay per view? Mm -hmm. Are they facing heavy machinery? Has that been announced yet? I don't think so. And we got tomorrow to set that up, possibly. That's true, but we're less than a week away from ground stompers. Like, mm -hmm. we should have the full card. Oh, do you feel like this pay per view completely should be brought to you by Karate Fighters? This, no, th this entire pay per view is brought to you by Lug's Boot of the Week. Ooh, Lug's Boot of the Week? That's a good, that is a good pull. That is an amazing mm -hmm. pull, Mike. Mm -hmm. Thank you. And plus, if you think Seth Rollins is losing at a pay-per-view called Stomping Grounds, you have not been paying attention to Baron Corbin. Yeah, it's like if if like if, if this pay-per-view was called WWE End of Days, I wonder who's going to win. Yeah, can we, can we go back to that? Can we go? I mean, seriously, like when 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 Baron was the Raw GM. In that weird time when we can do whatever because it's December no. and nobody's watching, could we not have done a Baron Corbin presents End of Days? It would have been something. It would have been. <laughs> it, something. I mean, that would that would have been pretty great. Because The Rock did the same thing. You know, a very rock WWE bottom presents kind of Rock thing, Bottom. You know, or or even like Eric, like Stone Cold Steve Austin and Eric Bischoff present, or they were presenting their each other's. You know, Stone Cold got one, he got the other. Uh, kind of thing. Oh, yeah. that's back when we had the WWE logo wipe. But instead of mm -hmm. the, the logo, you got like their faces. Uh, those yeah. are the, those were great days. Were they? Uh, they? We got the red. We got the redneck triathlon. We did get the redneck. No, come on, Bischoff and Stone Cold was some classic stuff. No, Bischoff and Stephanie was some classic stuff. Bischoff yeah, and too. Stone Cold was 
was lesser than. Ah, uh, I was a fan of it. I was okay. good with it. I was good with it. Was that but, was that Mayhem uh, Show era? Were we talking about then? I don't I think, think it's so. before us. I think it's before I think, us. I think that was before our time. We should go back and watch old Raw. It's a uh, BM before mayhem. Uh, and not, <laughs> BM. And not, not the other meaning. <laughs> uh, boy. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know. The, Lacey Evans is tired to me. She's already tired. Mm-hmm. She's not a threat to Becky mm-hmm. at all. Like, uh, she knocks her out every once in a while. No, not really, because only half the time they know to sell the women's right. Mm. <laughs> only half the mm. time. Because a lot of times Lacey doesn't actually hit it. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Uh, she, she's okay. not. Yeah, I I mean, you know. You, you think she should have been in the NXT oven a little longer? A lot longer. Really? I thought she yes. was more capable. I don't think it's as obvious to me. And some others that they brought up, like I, I felt like Ember Moon needed some more time just for again, like we've talked about the Ember character. Moon needed time just for character development. Yeah, just for just else. for everybody to figure out what to Lace, do with her. Lacey needs in ring time. Mm-hmm. Lacey needed in ring time, but she came into NXT at a point where Shayna was on top, mm-hmm. and if Lacey was going to be down there, she'd have to be a top heel, and that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, there's no spots for them, and they and they and they're even the lower heels are kind of the the. Secondary heels in NXT are kind of questionable Van- right now. Vanessa Bourne and Aaliyah? Yeah. Not really not really buying Aaliyah as a heel. Nope. No. Doesn't doesn't seem like her. I character. don't know. It just seems like like, you know, remembering her from Breaking Ground. I think I got the Noomph. right show. Noomph. Nymph? Noomph? Noomph. Noomph. Her, her name is Noomph. Jeez. No, it's real. Uh, that's, that's real news, name. news from the chat room. Uh, Brandon Singh Fandango returned over the weekend. Uh, looks like yep. several people got uh, uh, a return to the WWE Network oh. for 99 cents for three months emails. I don't think I got that because I've never canceled. No, I've so. never canceled either. I am a lifelong. They gave me like a $25 gift card at one point for shop. for, for Yeah, just, just uh, after the first year. Yeah, it was it just the first year. Yeah, I wish they would do that every year. Uh, maybe that'd be, we that'd could, be nice. I mean, we're, we're hitting five. We just hit five years, didn't we? Mm-hmm. Man. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that's, I mean, I mean, what was life like before the but network? Yeah, or... there are a lot of people who returned to NXT. Yeah. Oh, so Fandango went down to NXT? Uh, there there are a lot of people. Fandango. Okay. Uh, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to spoil it. Fandango, Killian Dane, mm-hmm. Apollo Crews, all back in NXT. And this is part of the uh, breakout tournament. Nope, they're just all back there. Oh, okay. They're just hanging out. Yep. Oh, wait, wait. Do you see what Killian Dane does? It's oh. pretty. It's. It's. I'm just happy fantabulous. if they're doing something. I'm just happy yep. if they're doing something. And even I, I want so many people to go back down to NXT. Yeah. I want so many people to go back. We down. go to go there. Go to the UK. Go to 205 Live. Honestly, yep. if anybody, and we kind of like talked about before, like something like Finn Balor going to 205 Live. Yes, please. No, I don't want that. I don't want that because then they'll keep him there. Uh, yeah. Yes. That, while that would be great matches, it would not be good for Fergal Devitt the man. Okay. Okay. Or Finn Balor's character development. Okay. Like, I, I, as much as I would love to see, but like, like but Finn Balor versus Mike, Mike, it would be fun. Yeah, but send send one guy to SmackDown then for him to fight. Okay, not the other way around. All right, all right, sure. Not the other way around. Okay. And uh, the breakout tourney spoiler. Oh boy, that is. Um, I would not have picked all of those winners. Hmm. I would not have picked all those winners, but uh, hmm. Sorg, do you, do you know who's going to be on on the televisions? I heard that somebody with an air horn might be. Bah, 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 bah. I think I, I did see a, a a glimpse of the brackets. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Th- those brackets changed from the picture uh, that was leaked. Uh, Brandon. Oh, it, it has. Uh huh. Slightly. Uh, uh Brandon's yeah. pointing out about some main roster guys popping up on 205 Live. Did you notice Chad Gable on 205 Live last week? Chad Gable is now 205 Live. Yes. Yeah. Which is good. I like but, it. I mean, that's fine. Chad Gable can Chad Gable. Yep. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah. See, Chad Gable is exactly at the kind of level and usage that going to 205 Live will help his career. Yes. Tim Ballard is not. Yes. 
Finn Balor is the guy that should be fighting with Buddy Murphy on SmackDown. That's what should be happening. Yes. Is Buddy Murphy officially main roster now? Yep, he is officially SmackDown, although you've never seen him. Yeah, yeah. I, no, no, we, I saw the He's twi- the best kept secret. You know why? I, He's not on TV. I, I, I saw the exchange between him and Cedric uh, where they're like, hey, remember when we used to wrestle? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. I, I miss those days. Yeah, yeah. It's got to be frustrating to be in the big time, getting the best paycheck of your life in your professional wrestling career, and nobody knows. It's like yeah. it, it's, it's it's like the Tony Rich project from 1996. I do not know that reference, uh, but uh, he, he he did a song called "Nobody Knows." It's a pro wrestling purgatory. Yeah, welcome to Raw. <laughs> <laughs> uh, sort. Uh, I, I have a question. What what what'd you think of the Firefly Funhouse tonight? Uh, it's getting weirder, Mike. It's getting a lot weirder. I think. Um, I think we're going to be seeing a Mr. Wyatt fairly soon. I think that might be a pay-per-view debut. I, yeah. I don't know if I want him on the, on the, on the show. I I'm worried. He, I'm worried. I guess I got a minute. I'm, I'm worried what's going to happen. I am entirely I, I think, skeptical. I, I am fully expecting that he's going to come out and Emelina us and just be Husky Harris. You know, it would be great. If he was the referee for the uh, Rollins Corbin, <laughs> he is wearing striped pants. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um. So, so. Uh, <laughs> yes, <laughs> Tina. Thank you. Yeah, Tina's pull, uh, about uh, uh, Mike pulling out the uh, '90s R&B references. Yes. Oh, Tina. Tina, you you don't you don't have to go to stomping grounds. Enjoy your comic con. That's right, exactly. Enjoy your comic. You'll con. You'll catch it later. Listen, we'll, man, I'm going to we'll be on watch a, stomping grounds, so you don't have to. I I'm going to be on a plane back during stomping ground. I'll watch I'll, stomping grounds, so you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> we'll uh, we'll figure that out. Fucking sorg a flat lever. What, what's that, what? Making me watch stomping grounds. Hey, listen, by there's no there's no WWE Network in Nebraska. Yes, there is. <laughs> Sorg, they tell us everywhere it's in all 50 states, multiple countries. They have they have eight different languages. Yes, including they the, broadcast in, including Nebraskan. Yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, Mike, is there anything else we need to touch on this week? Oh, man, there's so much. Is there? Um, is there? Can we leave anything for BC Steel tomorrow night on the show? Um, Poor Heath Slater. Poor he Slater. I, well, okay, we're still going with the I got we got kids and and there yeah. was the Drew connection and um I like that there, there was this little nod to it, but uh man, yeah, poor Heath. Yeah. And um I thought it was weird and telling that the revival was just picking up all the extra money. <laughs> I was wondering about I, that too. I thought I thought that was a shot across the bow. Uh huh. Uh-huh. I, I I, I thought that was a shot across the bow. I really did. Mm-hmm. That that se- that seemed intentional, mm-hmm. shall we say? Mm-hmm. Seemed intentional. There was there was a lot to unpack tonight. I felt more. Than I, usual. I do like how the revival. I, now I'm. I can't confirm this, but I'm pretty sure they hopped in a time machine and stole clothes from Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard from the eighties. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. Mike, I was completely watching Mid Atlantic Wrestling with Arn, <laughs> Arn yep. Anderson and Ole Anderson on it today. Mm-hmm. And you're so right. Oh boy. Um like, like the revival is straight up dressing like Arn and Telly from the eighties. Mm-hmm. And I gotta say I'm here for it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I gotta say. It sucks that their Ric Flair is Shane McMahon. It very much sucks that yeah. their Ric Flair is Shane. That's de evolution. Oh wait, there is four of them. Uh huh. And and if and if, if oh god, I don't even want to say this. Drew is totally the uh, the the blue chip prospect. The blue chip prospect. Pick whichever horseman blue chip prospect or, you want. Or is he more the Sid Vicious era horseman? 
Vicious was in it. No, he's not that bad. He knows when they're live. Okay. That's good. That's good. I wasn't going to give the Lex Luthor. Relax, pal. Uh, boy. Uh, anyways, uh, let's see. Some other notes here. Tina's pointing out that Charlotte is supposed to be at Funko on Saturday. Mm. Oh, well, go say go say hi to to Char Char. Uh, Brandon uh, kind of likes the AJ segment from tonight. I think we talked a little bit about that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see where it goes. But I, this was not a go home show for me. Uh, oh, I'm not even. They, they have so many shows right now. I don't even know. It, it, it was like, oh, this Sunday. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, making plans. Yeah, making you know, plans. I think it does make Drew the Barry Windham. That that's a good. That's <laughs> timely. That is it. It's not Lex Luger. We're not going to assume he's going to kill anyone yet. Mm. <laughs> mm. Wow. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, you know, you know, Iceland opened up a lot of eyes. You know, sometimes when I'm sick, I pull up WCW Thunder. Ooh. And wow. that's the thing I put on while I doze in and out of consciousness. Because to be fair, that's how they wrote it. 1999 WCW is already like a fever dream. And if I add my real fever dream on top of the fever dream, it mm-hmm. just it's like it's like I I think this is what LSD would be like. So if you if you want something comparable, mm-hmm. 2001 WCW pay-per-views. I yeah, you, oh, true. Oh boy. Yes. Oh yes, boy. and I have, but like the Thunder thing is nice because it'll auto play the next Thunders. So I don't know how deep down the rabbit hole I've gone, or if David Arquette is the WCW champion yet or not. Okay. Um, so and and I think at the time I was maybe watching Monday nights and uh-huh. didn't see the Thursdays. So okay. like I went from one third Thunder well, to the Thursday next. Thursday was on the Superstation. A so, ton I mean, of shit happened between the one Thunder and the next because there was a pay per view. And Nitro, and of course the title changed like two times already. Yep. Yeah, because that's what we do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sorg, I think we should have a watch party of one of those WCW pay-per-views. Definitely greed. That last one. It was at the last one? Yeah, like, yeah, greed. It, it's so interesting, and I talked about this when I watched this like a year ago. It's so interesting to see the directions it looked like they were about to go. And then did obviously you, didn't because the next week it just we just stopped. Did you watch the the, the uh, WWE Untold on the pay per view that was supposed under. to happen like six months later? Yes, yeah. it was going to be called WCW's Great Great uh, Big Bang. Big Bang, yeah. And and uh, their and, whole universe was in a dark, dense place, and nearly fourteen billion years ago, expansion started. Wait, the Earth began to cool. <laughs> I was going to do the whole thing. I'm not going to. <laughs> It, it, would it be all a, started with a big bang, is my point. It, it would have been a hell of a pay-per-view theme song. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, boy. And by the way, uh, so going back to the Firefly Funhouse, mm-hmm. when they were doing the, the radio channel change, mm-hmm. they couldn't have put a little poppy in there. It would have worked. You know it would have worked. I don't think I don't think Paul's behind these segments. God damn it. I want Poppy in there. You think... I want Poppy to play Bray Wyatt to the ring. I mean, we've already talked about how how we're pretty sure that NXT's like soundtracks is like what Triple H works out to, right? I don't think it is. No? No. No. Triple H, that's not his music. I think he's working out to that... some Poppy. No, 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 no. Triple H works out to only Lemmy. <laughs> Yeah. Only Lemmy. Exclusively Lemmy. Yeah, yeah. Exclusive. Like, Triple H has a music guy there, and he trusts that music guy's instincts. He's like, well, I don't get it, but, you know, if the kid's like it, sure. That's my Triple H. That's, that's a bad Triple H. Okay. That, that's that's my not, that's my, that's my, uh, that's my Uncle Paul Triple H. Your Uncle Paul. It's not, it's, yeah, the Uncle Paul Triple H. Oh, it's not boy. the, uh. The I'll take off this suit. Like that that's that's the character. Guys, we have a lot of stuff coming up. We do. We got BC Steel on the show this week. Yes. We're working on some other guests for the rest of the month here. Um we have a lot of wrestling going on, a lot of wrestling posting over at indie wrestling dot US. Uh we have a lot of interviews in the can, starting with uh that'll be debuting on all your podcast feeds. Uh Brohemoth this week. We had a long conversation with 
Paul Atlas, who, uh, get this man, Mike, he trained in the same place in our, around the same time, I think, as Mick Foley and Shane Douglas in the 90s. Oh, with, with uh, Dom- Killer Kowalski. Uh, with Dominic, oh, Dominic, no, Dinucci. Dominic Dinucci. Yes. Out here in Pittsburgh area. Um, we had a great hour, hour talk with him on Sunday. That will be out next week. And, of course, uh, I had an upstart uh, newbie uh, three matches in, Xander Gabriel. Uh, we have we talked about fanny packs, and I have oh, where's my headband? Oh, I need to show you my headband. I think you. Okay. I, I have some pictures to send you, Mike. Uh, that'll be on in, that in three is, weeks. That's un- unnerving. <laughs> Um, but uh, a lot of fun there. It's good to have the Indie Mayhem show back, and we're going to try to line some more stuff up with that and uh, try to work on some other content. Uh, we got some really cool stuff coming up with uh, a few of our partners like the Fight Society, Angel Gates, Prospect Pro Wrestling, Rise and Uprise uh, here in the area. Uh, so uh, looking forward to some new stuff going on there. Brandon, I refuse to talk about that because that – Segment got them another booking. And I uh, we're not. Yeah, we're not talking about that. I'm not uh, approving of that. No, 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 no. Um, uh, realist cheese are not uh, not are banned from this show. Uh, yep. <laughs> but yep. no, I, I actually um, because they were booked, I've decided not to go to Northeast Wrestling. Oh I'm man, go, Is it, I'm are, voting with my dollar. Are they on that? I, are they on that show? Yep. Ah, uh, we have them. Well, com- they probably will be. So they better not be because Northeast Wrestling is coming to Pittsburgh on July 19th um, for a Br- Bruno San Martino Foundation They're show. Be there. I would be so sad if those guys show up because I, I intend to go to that one. Hmm? Yep. No, like the, the show in Poughkeepsie, I was thinking about going. Mm-hmm. And they already have confirmed those morons for a second booking in Connecticut. Mm. And I'm like, okay, I can see the writing on the wall. I'm not going to. I'm voting with my dollar. I'm not going to go to that. Make show. sure you state that. Make sure you let them know. Tag them if you're not happy about that. So, uh, so with that, Matt Mike four eighty three on the tweets. YouTube.com slash Poppy at Sorg. No, I, actually, uh, Sorg. I also have something else to plug. Oh no, what you got? Josiah Williams. Hmm. Wrestle and Flow. This sounds familiar. The guy who sang Adam Cole to the ring at TakeOver. Oh! He does a bunch of wrestling themes. I think I've heard of this guy before. Go down the wormhole. Have you posted that in the... Have you posted that in the group? I have not. I will. Drop that in the group. Um, Go go down the rabbit hole of it. There there are at least 20 songs. They're all real, real good. Fantastic. Like I want him, I because I I think he's like an official collaborator with WWE now. Mm-hmm. I want WWE aggression too. <laughs> Just with this guy. Just with him, and I I want I him. Would... I want him to be able to do the full length of the song, expand his lyrics and everything. Like I'm with you, but I would love them to bring in Mega Ran as well. Okay, sure. Mega Ran's I approve. Made... That. Mega Rans Matt Mania, it's up there on the Google Music, and I'm sure it's on a lot of other streaming services if you have those too. Um, so uh, that, that, that I definitely put plugs out for that too. Guys, thank you so much. It has been your Mayhem, uh, Mayhem Monday Mayhem wrap up. Uh, thank you everybody out there in the chat room on the Facebook Live. Thank you everybody subscribing on the Wrestling Mayhem Show Super Feed on your podcast catcher and catching us wherever else. Again, we'll see you guys next week after Raw. Stay. No, stay mayhem. He's not ours. We'll see you next time. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait. Wait for the perfect time to attack. Don't give up what you want. Take it back. Wait for the perfect time to attack. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.